Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Writers and authors. This tutorial we are enhancing the collaboration and backup capabilities of Scrav Vener. Join me for a guide on connecting Scravener to Dropbox in 2024. Let's make sure your writing projects are securely stored and easily shareable. So let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, the first thing is to obviously head up to here, Scravener, and we have to get our account. And basically we have to get our account ready to go. So here there is two options for you actually. So the first option is to buy uh, or to download the uh, app. So we have to download the app. So let's go here, Windows, and now the app is basically being downloaded in our PC. Now we will have a free trial so we can show you exactly how we can actually connect this application with Dropbox. So here we go after you install it we simply have to download it on our PC as you can see right here and now we simply have to wait a little bit and here it is now simply next 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 we don't have to actually do anything about it crazy or something like that very simple very straightforward and now we simply have to wait and as you can see it will download so here it is now it is fully installed and ready to go now for this we have to click finish and it will open so these are all steps to actually get to the app and then we can show you inside of the app how we can do it. So guys, as you can see, here it is. So with the tutorials, here there is some getting started, but for us, we're just gonna go with blank page. So let's create a blank page, create. Um, let me just go to the desktop. Um, yeah, let's put it here. Let's create this file for it. And yeah, let's just name it whatever open and save it right here now let's just create and here we have this file so here basically screen is an app where you can basically type stuff and write stuff so as you can see right here it's basically an app that will help you do this kind of things well in case you are interested in connecting it with dropbox and saving what you are writing here inside of dropbox well there is some kind of um not really directly way so there is no actually uh, directly uh, click here and it will be uploaded directly but there is something that's manually so what you have to do is obviously create an account on dropbox so here we go dropbox.com we have to remove all of that and let me just remove that also here it is dropbox.com and as you can see guys here we have to create basically an account after you create your account you can simply click right here and upload a file simply head up to where you have put the file for me in music here and basically this is the file so these are all the files that you need basically for the script itself you simply have to choose it and here it is so this is the file and it cannot be previewed without the application so people have to actually download it so it can be right here there is also guys the second method which is basically the same thing which is by downloading dropbox on your pc so here we simply have to get dropbox and download it as you can see here it will be showing in our files and basically uh, it will show like that so what you have to do to set up your Dropbox synchronization is basically go ahead in the screen for iOS make sure for example uh, you are viewing the project list and that you do not have a project open tap the synchronization button tap link Dropbox in the menu that appears for us we don't really have that in Windows we don't really have synchronization or anything like that in here but there is something similar to it but here it is as you can see right here it is synchronization but you can't really synchronize with an internal or uh, like an, with another application you can either with another folder or another device so 
it's basically the same thing as uploading it directly to Dropbox, but instead you are just putting it inside of a Dropbox folder inside of your PC, and yeah, it's not really very very useful. Uh, I'd rather go for an iOS. If you are using iOS, then this is gonna be useful for you 100%. Uh, but for Windows Linux users, uh, that's not gonna be as helpful as a uh, as the method that I've shown you, which is the manual way. Create an account on Dropbox, uploading the file. You can create a folder here so you can make separation between the files. For example, here are the files of the Scrivener. Uh, create, and uh, here we have we can upload the files and we can simply list all the text files and what we have written in Scrivener right in this section. So, yeah, guys, that was basically it for today's video. Uh, it wasn't that efficient amount of method, but yeah, it is the only way you can actually do it. There is the only manual way, there is no other ways. So, thank you guys a lot for watching, and see you guys in the next tutorials.